accept. And what I'm going to do is to select these ones and I will create a Boolean. So how the Boolean works is that I will select one mesh. Just watch this body model. I will select the other one. And then I have the Boolean available. If I apply it, you will see that I have an operation A minus B. This means I will keep A, but I won't keep the B, uh, the B parts that are colliding with the with A. So I can I can also change the position of this one. So let's say I just move this one a little bit up. I go here, Boolean, and I can change the rotation, and I can change the axis. If I go very like very close, I can select the axis and I can move it. If I move it to up, you will notice that it's not colliding. And once I move down, I will be able to collide the mesh. Okay. So with this one, I can create a new asset or I can modify this one. Okay. So let's keep the sources and create a new asset so you can see. And now I can have a new asset that is the destroyed version. There is, however, a problem. Sometimes you want like the destroyed version here and you want the destroyed part, you want to have it. So you either click on those Boolean and then change B minus A or intersect and you will have the other part. But what you can actually do is use another method, which is a mesh cut. And you will see that I have highlight my mesh and this will cut my mesh. If I click accept, let me move this one. You will see that nothing has happened, but now I have two meshes. I have a new mesh here and I have my previous mesh here. So what I can do is to put this one here and rotate it a little bit. Okay, so that's it for the that's it for the booleans. Okay, any questions so far? Um, well, there was a question about uh, if we could create a blueprint 